Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In this short video, I'm going to show you five items you can do in Microsoft Forms that you may not know you could do. Item number one is while I'm in a form, I can come up here. This was a highly requested feature up in the top right or more form settings. And I can print this form, meaning print a blank form. It opens up. There's my default printer. There is the form, question one, question two questions three and four on the next page, and that's where the form stops. I could also print this as a PDF. So that is item number one. You can print a blank form. Hopefully it goes back to forms. It did. That also works in your Microsoft 365 family account and your Microsoft 365 personal or individual account. Um, I'm in my Microsoft 365 business account right now, just to be clear about this. Item number two for forms is again up here in the top right. I go to settings, more form settings. I'm going to go to settings this time. You can, this only works with your business account, I believe. You can shuffle the questions. So it's not shuffling the answers, it's shuffling the questions. So what may be question one for person one filling this out that question one may be the fourth question for someone else. It will work. I tested this really cool feature, shuffling questions. One little note about this, you can lock some questions. If you say, okay, I don't want questions one through three to be shuffled. You can do that. Item number three, you can allow receipt of responses after submission. So let's test this right now. I've got this set up for only people in my organization. So when I hit share, I'm going to share this with Carol Wilson, copy. I've already got Carol running here. Here she goes. So I get her this form URL every which way possible. She's got it right here. She's running through one, two, she's answering questions. Watch this cool feature. There it is. Send me an email receipt of my responses. That is because I had checked that box earlier. Here's another cool feature after she checks that when she hits submit, watch this, print or get PDF of answers. So I didn't include that one in this list of five items, but that still has to do with printing. So there's that. By the way, she just got an email right there, that email. So we've done print form was number one, go to settings, shuffle the questions was two, allow receipt was number three. Item number four I have for you is you can add a logo. I'm back in the form. I'm up in the header. I like to put a logo up here at the top just to show you how to do this. It's right here. Insert image. You can pull from an image search. You can pull from OneDrive or you can do an upload. I'm going to go to my OneDrive account. I've got a folder called logos. That one looks good. Watch my header when I hit that and add. There is item number four right there. Put your logo there. And the last item is Microsoft Forms and Teams. A lot of people don't know you can do this one. I've already got Teams running. I am in the HR team. I'm on the onboarding channel. We're having a discussion, which is a conversation, which shows up in post. And I know this is just me, but I act like there's a lot of discussions going on here. I'll use this one right here. I like there's a lot of people discussing something. You're like, okay, I wish I could do a quick survey or poll. Sure. Hit reply. Right here is Microsoft Forms. And we're trying to decide something about onboarding. That means something. That means something. That means something. Save. It will throw it into our conversation and people can come in here and actually vote. Watch this just to prove it. Submit right inside of the channel inside of Teams. Cool feature. There you go. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about Microsoft Forms or using Microsoft Forms inside of Teams, let me know. I have a video coming up, brand new feature. I didn't want to include it with this one. I could add polls, Microsoft Forms polls, into my scheduled meetings in Microsoft Teams. Thank you. Have a great day.